your stomach in, girl. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tierra and I am back with another video. So excited to be here. Welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you are not new. So today we're going to be doing a favorites video. And when I say favorites, I mean favorites of like since the last time I did a video. I haven't done a favorites video in so long. So this is just me trying to catch up <laughs> since the last one. But, but I just wanted to share some of my favorite things since I haven't done a video like this in a long time. If you guys want to jump to anything that you want to see, I'll have some chapters down below and some timestamps so you will be able to jump to whichever category it is that you want to see. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And let me know in the comments what have been some of your favorite products. Let's jump into it now. Okay, so the first thing I want to share with you is the Holy Bible. Yes, the Holy Bible. Yes, I read the Bible. I've been trying to get more closer to God. I've just been trying to strengthen my spiritual armor. Like, I am just, like, really getting closer to God, and I am feeling it and seeing Him. I know that I'll be feeling and hearing Him even more once I get deeper into my journey, but I'm a little early in it. I've always been a Christian, but this is me actually getting to know him, reading the scriptures, understanding the scriptures. And a friend of mine gave me this Bible and I was just like, oh my God, like, thank you so much. I actually started like crying. It was so sweet and it's pink and I was just like, thank you. So yeah, but anyway, a scripture that I've been reading is Psalms 91, like the whole Psalms 91. So if you're interested, then go ahead and look that one up and read that one. But yes, this has been one of my favorite items. Okay, and that's, let's jump into the beauty category. I'm going to do a little bit of makeup, some skincare, some hair care. So that's going to be under my beauty umbrella. And I have some perfume in there as well. So let's go ahead and start with some makeup. I haven't been doing too much makeup, but when I do do it, it's very light. So I've been on a journey of like just having very light and natural skin-like makeup. So these are the products that I use to get that. I've actually been really, really loving this. I just got it last month. It's February right now, but this is a January favorites, but I just got this in January. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I mean, the girlies, they were right. They were right about this one. I have mine in the shade four medium, and I seen it at Target. I was like, yes, finally, finally I can find it. So I found it at Target. I was in there for like 15 minutes trying to figure out what is my shade I ended up picking four and four ended up being a really good shade for me i like wearing this underneath the makeup so i just put it on after my primer blend this in and then i put foundation on top if i wear foundation next things i want to share with you are my concealers that i've been really loving so i use concealers for underneath the eyes to brighten the eye i use concealer to hide my dark circles underneath my eyes and i use concealer to cover any blemishes on days I don't want to use foundation. This one here is the Born This Way multi sculpting, multi sculpting concealer. You guys know about this. This is a holy grail in like almost everyone on makeup stash. But this one in particular is in the shade Taffy. It's like a rosy pinky undertone. And I use this to cancel out the dark circles underneath my eyes. I'll go in with a dab under each just to get rid of that. And then I'll go on top of it with a different concealer. Also, I'll put the excess on any dark spots around my face because I do have a little bit you see I put it around that just like the excess on a brush because I blend out that particular concealer with a brush so this is the lip bar quick conceal caffeine concealer in the shade 2.0 honey I really like this concealer I like that it has caffeine in it it's a really nice dewy concealer and it makes my skin look very very skin like but the dewiness goes away because I set this down with powder I have to set my under eyes or they will crease I really like the way it looks under my eyes it makes me look so natural but it also, you know, conceals like it's supposed to. So really like this one. The last two are the same concealer. They're just in different shades because I use them for different reasons. This is Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. I have two shades. I got one for my skin shade, my actual skin shade, and I have one for my under eyes, so it's a little bit lighter. So the one for my under eyes is LM14. I use this under the eyes to conceal and to brighten. And then I use M16. This is more like my skin shade. So I will use this to kind of even out my skin when I want to know foundation day. When I want to look a little bit more enhanced, I'll use this shade to even out my skin tone and just to make everything even and just nice and just fresh. I love this shade for that. 
these are really 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 good formulas they are so skin like but they give you the coverage that you need so that's why i really like these so next i'm going to show you a foundation that i well it's a skin tint it's not a foundation it is a fenty beauty eavesdrop skin tint so it's eavesdrop and blurring it is so good like this y'all know fenty does the base this stuff is so good oh my goodness this is a holy grail in a bottle I do wish it had like a different shade because the undertone is slightly off, but it is beautiful on the skin. Once I blend everything in, it kind of does its thing. I don't do too much of this. I don't put a lot on, so that's why I can get away with it. But the way that it makes my skin look, the formula, it's just so skin-like, and it still evens out my skin. This is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I am in the shade G60. This is the perfect foundation, the perfect shade, the perfect undertone the perfect um, coverage, the perfect formula for me personally. This is a perfect, perfect foundation. I love this foundation. It checks every box for me personally. I really love this. It's a natural matte foundation, but it gives me coverage, but it does not make me look cakey. I really love this foundation on top of the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid, Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I love these two together. It is so good. It's such a good combination because it just gives me skin like skin. I love this. Okay, now I'm going to go into bronzer and contours, the ones I've been loving lately. So the first one I'm going to go into is this bronzer. This is the Rare Beauty Always Sunny Bronzer Stick. And this is this shade. So good. Now this, it blends out like butter. I promise you, it blends so good. I use a brush to blend this out. It's so pretty and it gives you that, that nice summer bronzy look that you really, really, really like. Oh my gosh. This is perfect. The formula is perfect. Everything about this thing is good. She did her thing with this. Selena Gomez, thank you. Let's talk about Makeup by Mario. This is his contour stick. This is in the shade Medium Dark. Now, this is not a bronzer, you guys. This is a contour, so it's going to be a cool tone. But the formula is really, really nice. It blends out really, really nicely. It looks really good on the skin. It doesn't look cakey. It looks good. And it comes with a brush to blend it out. So that's why I've really been liking these. So whichever I want to go for, if I want to go for something a little bit more bronzy, a little bit more sun-kissed, I'll go for this one. This is the Rare Beauty one. If I just want a regular look, something really nice and chill, I'll go for this Makeup by Mario one. Let's go into the next product, and it is a cream blush. As you can see, I've been loving cream products because they make my skin look very natural. This one is the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. This one is in the shade Peach Face. It came in their peach set, but this is the shade. It's so pretty. I love a peach blush. It looks so good on. This one looks like it looks a little nasty because I use it all the time, but this is the shade. It blends out so beautifully. It gives you a nice glow on the skin. Not like not like a shimmer glow, like a wet glow almost but not too much it's very natural it's a very nice flush of color on the cheeks this is the pat mcgrath labs cheeks palette and the divine blush glow cheek palette in the shade nude venus this came out holiday 2022 but this is what it looks like gorgeous gorgeous and it's a gorgeous formula i really 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 love this shade right here which is divine rose 3 looks so pretty on me personally this highlighter is like beaming I don't even know why she put this much highlighter in this palette. This formula is like overbearing. It's so blinding. If you like that or into that, yeah. All you need to do if you don't like a beaming highlight is dab into it very lightly and then blend it out as much as you can. You don't need a lot of this at all. Next one I've been loving also came on Holiday 2022 and it's from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette. It's not a powdery formula at all. You can build it on a lighter look. You don't need to do too much, but if you want a little bit more color, a little bit more pigment, just go in a little bit more and then put it on. I really like this for work because I'm not looking like a clown. I think that's it for my base. So let's go to eyes really quickly. So I've been really loving this palette. Y'all don't beat me up. <laughs> It's old, I know. It's probably expired. It's not probably expired. It is expired. But the shades still work. This is the Peach Just Peachy Mattes by Too Faced. It all, it's all matte shades. And they're really neutral. And they just look really good on. I've been going for really, really, really simple looks lately. And this palette takes care of that for me. Next are some lashes that I have been loving from Amazon. 
and I it doesn't have like a shade name but these are what they look like I will have them linked below but if you see me with any lashes on these were it these are not it on my eyes because I just did a video on these these are mascara lashes like from kiss they're really really pretty I like them they look like individual lashes but anyway we're I can't put them on this video because I just like try these on today so I don't know if I like them like for the long run but my first impression is I really like them first impressions back to the strip lash got these from Amazon they look really really good on they have that um, cat eye effect because they go from really short to really long these are so pretty I love these I have them linked below is the kish last lash glue really 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 love this like this is one of my favorite products ever it's so easy you just take it you put it on you take the strip lash you put it on immediately and it's sticking this is so good. I like the black one better, but they didn't have black at the time, so I ended up picking up the clear one. But they're both, like, really, really good. Nude is my thing. All I do is nude lips. If I'm feeling fancy, I'll do, like, a red lip, but normally my lips are nude. The pencil I have been using nonstop is Morphe's Bite Me. This is the shade name. And it's by Morphe. And I'll just show you the shade so you can see. Really, really nice brown shade for my skin complexion. And this is actually a dupe for Max Cork. I love that pencil too. It would be in this video, but I just don't know where it is right now. This one and MAC, I've been using nonstop. And all I do is wear those. And then I'll mix it with one of these nudes that we're about to show you. I've been really loving these lipsticks. These are the Milani lipsticks. They were pretty viral. I got them because I had got them off their website. Couldn't find them in store. But the two specific shades that I really like... Are pleasure and tease so these are what the shades look like it's like I'll show you really quick they look very similar they're just like a shade off I love a brown nude not a pink nude these are brown nudes that's why I really really like them they look so good with bite me and cork I'm like out of breath like, out of breath let's go in to lip glosses and they're all from Fenty of course because Fenty does gloss so good they're different types of gloss bomb the first one is the original gloss bomb and this one is in the shade sweet mouth sweet mouth has been my shade I have it on right now it's just a clear pink it goes on clear but it looks so good you can see I've been using it I'll take bite me and blend it out really good on the lips and then I put this over top of it it looks just so pretty it's just like a simple combination but it looks so good together next is the Fenty gloss bomb heat and this one is in the shade Fenty glow heat I got some eyelash glue on it so that's why it looks like that it's like a colorful gloss but it has like some plumping agents in it that's why they call it heat and it smells like cinnamon but that's what it looks like it's so pretty on the lips the lips look super juicy love it so the last one is a gloss bomb cream this is like almost the same as the heat but heat is a little bit more glossy and it has that plumping age in it it makes your lips kind of tingle and it also has that like cinnamon smell but the cream one this was it this one is in the shade peach pout like i said kink that set that peach set the cream ones are like a bit more creamy they still glossy and they they have a little bit more pigment in them but they don't have that plumping in it. The last on a beauty list is this Tati Beauty little kind of like sponge thing. I forget what she calls this thing, but it is so good for powder. Let's move on to skincare. I used a fresh soy cleanser. I have been loving this since I discovered it. I've only changed up when I was using samples, but after I finished my samples, I am back to this. This is a really nice gentle gel based cleanser and it gets all my makeup off it's just so nice and gentle on the skin doesn't leave my skin feeling stripped but i do feel clean so after i'm done with the soy cleanser i'll go in with the dermalogica daily super exfoliant i get the age one because I'm getting older so it's always good to incorporate age defying products in your skincare but this is so gentle on the skin and it just gets any of that dead skin off of your skin without like being super abrasive so that's why i really, really like this one after that i'll do my serums and stuff and then i'll go in with the fenty beauty hydrovisor i've been loving this stuff since it came out i've gone through like four or five of these it's a face lotion and spf in one so that's why i really like this let's go into body skincare i have really really been loving this scrub 
It's by the brand Frank and Body. This one is the original coffee scrub. It smells really good and it leaves your skin feeling so soft. And I just feel like I got all the dead skin off after I use this. It is so good. I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna be feeling like a baby's bottom after this. It's so good. It's an exfoliator for smooth, glowing skin. So you have coffee in it, sweet almond oil, and vitamin E. Next, I've been loving the Fenty Skin. This is their Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. I just got myself a refill, so that's why it's full. I used up a whole one, but this stuff is so good. Very, very moisturizing, and it blends out. I've had butters that are so hard to blend, I had to mix it with oil. But this one blends out really nicely, leaves the skin feeling soft and hydrated. It has a nice light scent. It's not like super overpowering. It's not very strong. It's very light. And it smells like really, really good to me. Now, I don't really do scented products on my skin because I have sensitive skin. But this one does not irritate my skin at all. And it just leaves a nice scent on your body. And it's just a, like very luxe to me. So I've been really liking this. So good. It just makes my hands especially feel really good because I have dry hands. And the last thing for skin is this Eucerin Intensive Repair Essential Oil Balm. This stuff is so good. This stuff is like it says intensive. So I use this for my feet. <laughs> I'll mix it in with some lotion on my feet because my feet get a little crusty, dusty, rusty, and dry. And this stuff combats that so good. Let's move on to hair. I have been using this Hard Water Wellness Shampoo. This shampoo is really, really good for if you have low porosity hair or if you have hard water. This is a clarifying shampoo, so it's going to get rid of any of that buildup from the hard water or any buildup from like your hair products. And that's good for low porosity hair because low porosity hair needs to, um, it, it collects buildup. So you want to get rid of that so that you can get the moisture in your hair and all that stuff because I have low porosity hair. Anyways, this is going to strip your hair down okay be careful with this i would use this once a month you or if you use some products that are like really really heavy duty i would use this for that but do not use this every time you wash your hair you do not need it every time you wash your hair okay this is going to strip your hair down okay i'm telling you it works it does what it's supposed to do just don't use it every time you wash your hair next is this cap this is called the hot head thermal care cap and you just put this in the microwave and put it over your head and it'll help with deep conditioning it, it it will distribute the heat over your head it's like a shower cap so you would have deep conditioner in your hair like actual shower cap and then you would put this over top of the shower cap um while it's hot because you put it in the microwave and the heat will help to penetrate the deep conditioner into your hair especially if you have low porosity or dry hair this will be really good for that last thing for hair is hairspray yeah I just discovered this like last year hairspray when I was growing up we used to use spritz but that was for like if I had curls or something um, hairspray holds any hairstyle like that you do that you want to hold you need hairspray so I have frizz control 24 hour frizz control extra hold so it's on a level four here this is by trust me I literally just grabbed any extra hold hairspray that I've could find I didn't particularly choose this one for uh, any reason I just grabbed the hairspray I was doing like loose curls that I didn't want to drop you know what I'm saying so I would do like my swoop with the loose curls especially after I got my hair layered oh, that looks so good but anyways they would drop what can I do to keep them from dropping hairspray duh this is for my ladies so if you're not a lady you can go ahead and get past this part i want to share these things because we're all women and we all go through things and these are the things that i use personally so first things first is poopery now this is so good for like if you have guests over and you have to like you know do a number two and you don't want the bathroom to be smelling like super bad or if your guest needs to use it and they you know can't hold it because it's a natural thing you know we all have bowel movements so this is called poopery and you just spray it into the toilet before you do number two and it kind of masks the scent a little bit and it has a nice little scent this one is in tropical hibiscus it smells pretty good it's not like the best smelling thing ever but it smells good you just spray it into the, on top of the toilet water and this is supposed to help mask 
percent when you have a bowel movement so this is good i just put it on top of my toilet and when my guests or when i have to you know have a bowel movement i'll use this after having my bowel movements i wipe with a wet wipe because because why not right so i'll use these honey pot sensitive wipes and i get the sensitive ones they do have a regular one it's an orange package but i don't get that one i always get sensitive i take regular tissue and wipe you know but then I'll, after I finish wiping with the regular tissue, I'll go in with a wet wipe to get all anything that may have been left over. I use these. And I use this for whenever I'm on my period. I use these um, after use, using the bathroom. Just so it gets, it just, I like to be clean down there. So I use these wipes. And again, they're for intimate parts. They're made for intimate parts. So that's why I like these in particular speaking of my period i'll go in with some boric acid this is by the brand honey pot other brands do make boric acid your second to last day of your um, cycle and you'll put this you know you insert it inside of your you know insert it inside and i'll do this for those last couple days just to get my ph balanced again after your period because you know sometimes your period throws that off so i'll use this to get it back and check I use it for two days so the morning and the night and it seems to balance my pH after my period so I really like this let's go in to perfumes this video is getting very long I have two perfumes here that I have absolutely okay. love it so this is Gucci flora and the gorgeous gardenia so good so good this smells amazing my bad is dying this smells so good I love it. I love it. So get it. The next perfume is Tomboy's Lost Cherry. This is my favorite perfume ever in life. This is my favorite. It smells so good. It's something about a cherry that I'm loving. It's like cherry almond. It smells so... It smells so good. Like, I said in my perfume video that if I had a like signature scent, like a scent that someone smelled, and as soon as they smelled it, they thought of me. This is that. Now I don't spray it that much because it's expensive. It's very expensive for no reason, really, because it doesn't last that long for the price. But it is a beautiful scent. It works really well with my body chemistry, so this is my favorite. So if anybody wants to buy me a gift, give me the big bottle. I want the big daddy version still in the beauty category let's move on to nails so i found something that has been working so wonderful for me personally i've tried acrylic i've tried dip powder i've tried just regular gel polish on my nails i've tried it all i have tried even just gluing tips on my nails and i found this to be the best option for me this is orly gel fx builder in a bottle this stuff amazing it's like $29 for this bottle I got it from walmart.com this is what I use on my nails I have a video on how I do my nails so these tips they are my real nails but they're covered with this gel in a bottle and if I happen to break a nail and it's not the right length for the rest of my nails I can use this builder in a bottle to create a tip so that they all match it hardens up it keeps your natural nail safe because it hardens over top. It's like a gel overlay. So good. I mean, whoever invented this, amazing. Like, thank you so much. I have a couple different items for clothes. Not many, but the first item are these shirts. These shirts are by the brand Sunday Best, and it is their seamless t-shirt. This is the brand right here. And you can get these from Aritzia. They are skims, dupes from what I've heard. I don't own a skim shirt. But I have one of these shirts on now. This one is in like a cognac color. See how it fits it really nicely on the body. It's very fitted, but it stretches. It's not like tight. It's just fitted, which I really actually like. So good. The only thing about these shirts is the material is not cotton. It feels like almost like a swimsuit kind of material, but not as thick as the swimsuit material so this material like underneath the arms for me at least holds like an odor 
So I have to wash these shirts at least three times to get the odor out. That's the only thing I don't like about these shirts. And I've been noticing that um, after I wear them, I'm like, what the hell? So I have to rewash them a couple times just to get that smell out. But I have this shirt in like so many different colors. I love the way they look with my outfit. So yeah, they're $30 though. <laughs> And they don't wash well, so $30 is a lot. Next on the list are leggings I got from Target. And these are courtesy of Aaliyah's Face. They are the Asset, they're, they're Spanx. So Asset by Spanx leggings. I will put a picture of what they look like. So this one in particular, they're like more of a softer material. So just take notice of this part and how short the inseam is but these look really good on they're just like a regular everyday legging and they suck you in so they look really good and they fit the bum they fit the body and they just feel good on the skin now this is another pair by the same brand it is the same like stock not the same style it's the same brand but they have a different name like take note like i said of this seam this material is almost like a um, gym material like almost like jimmy it's like in between a gym material and a bathing suit material i don't know how much better i can explain that but so good legging material this you see how that seam is that suck your stomach in girl it keeps you in place the like compression you know how compression material is this is how these are. Compress your legs, compress your body, and not in a bad way, in a very flattering way. So you're not jiggling everywhere, but you still can see the curves. But this sucks, like hold your stomach in. I love these. I wish I would've got another pair. They're like $30. Oh, but let me show you. This is the brand. And you can find these at Target. They're from Target too, and they're by the brand Joy Lab. These are the high rise leggings. And this is the brand Joy Lab. So these are $34, but I'll insert kind of like a video of how these look on. I have them in black so you can see them. The black ones are in the Joy Club right now, but they're just a nice, flattering, like flare pant. They have this little cute slit in the front. If you don't like the slit, then you might not like these, but I do love that flare. They look really good on, and these are so flattering on the body. I had the black ones on, and I was like, oh my God so good like these these bring that out of you i'm gonna show you my work bag i've been really loving love this i got this from amazon this is a dupe for that louis vuitton tote bag oh my gosh i love that louis vuitton bag it is so cute but it is too damn expensive so i found me a dupe okay it looks just like it has like little prints because the louis vuitton one is an embossed it has the lvs imprinted all in it I love that bag, but it's too expensive. But this is like the giving the same vibes and shape. So I've been using this for my work bag. It's really cute and has different pockets on the inside. It has a pocket for your water bottle, pocket for pins, a pocket for your laptop. So this is a really good bag. Okay, last category is electronics. This is the last category, and we're going to be done. I was going to do jewelry, but I think this video is getting a little bit too long. So let's go ahead and do the electronics and we'll be getting out of here so this is my tripod got this from amazon via alias face recommendation so good it stretches out and it's the, i got the taller one i think it's the 64 inch one and this is for your phone it comes with a remote controller so you would just connect it to your phone via bluetooth and you can use it to take your own pictures so if you're out and about you have no one take your pictures you can use the note that comes with it. The only thing I don't like about this thing is it's not a smooth like turn. So you can't really adjust it that well. Like if you want a specific angle, you see how this, it, it's not smooth. It like clicks in a place. And that is the Apple ecosystem. Apple is doing it. Okay. They are doing it. The way that they have it where so your phone 
your iPad, your MacBook, all of that can kind of sync up and you can share within your Apple ecosystem very easily, like AirDropping or like the iCloud and it's automatically on the, you know, one of your different devices. It's so user friendly. I have my iPad, I just recently got it. I have been loving this, so that's why it's on the list. Love it so much. I play games on here, I have my Bible apps on here, I draw on here, I take notes on here, I study on here, I FaceTime on here, I do all the above on here. So this is the Air 5, really been loving it. And I got it in space gray to match my phone and my MacBook. I can I like that I can share everything. So if I like take some pictures of my phone, I can airdrop them to my iPad and airdrop them to my MacBook and airdrop them to whatever device, even airdrop them to other people's devices. Apple just they does it. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. I know a lot of people probably don't make it to the end. But if you made it to the end, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. All right, you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.